Raw Fuel TV is sponsored by Wheelsport, your snowmobile, motorcycle, and ATV specialist. So for the first part of this install, we're going to have to uh, remove the windshield. Let's get on that. Can I help? Hey everyone, Jesse and Steve, Raw Fuel TV. Today we're going to show you how to take the hood off this 1200XS chassis. First thing you want to do is open up the wings on this sled. And if you're not sure how to do that, your local Skidoo dealer will be more than happy to show you. But don't forget your wallet. <laughs> That's right. So the first thing that you're going to need to do with this is you're going to need to remove the side air deflectors and the windshield and that's going to expose the T25 right underneath here. So let's start on that. So by removing that we've exposed this T25 Torx. So there's going to be one here, one here, there's two on top and there's two right on the opposite side. Let's get ripping them off. There you go, bud. Now that we've got rid of the T25s, next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to remove the uh, instrument cluster. Pop the hood latch up. So there's two little tabs right at the top. It's quite similar, similar to the other chassis there. Just get yourself a little pick tool and push straight down. And if you can kind of keep your finger in that side, you push the other side down and that comes right out. There's a little uh, <clears throat> there's a little tab on this side. You depress down and pull it out. Just wiggle it side to side gently. There we go. So cluster in. Next up, we just got to free the uh, the electrics from here. Just gonna reach in. Remove all the electrical connections. There's going to be four on this sled, and that's simply because this particular sled has the uh, auxiliary LED light. If your sled doesn't have the LED light, you're just going to be removing two of the electrics. So before you slide the hood forward, there's a little Phillips for the air box down here that you have to undo. You just need to loosen it up so the air box separates from the breather pipe. And we're good. Alright, next step in the process is simply just to slide the hood forward and just be cautious of the electrics. And that's it, that's all. So one of the benefits of removing the hood is it's going to allow us to get right to these exhaust springs and that's the two springs right here and they're connecting the header pipe right to the muffler. It's really, really difficult to get a hold of them if we're trying to, uh, trying to reach in through the backside. Not to mention, it's going to give us an opportunity to do a quick inspection of the sled, which is always good. This is a really handy tool to use. It's a uh, spring pulling tool. If you don't have one, we highly recommend uh, getting your hands on one. Super effective to get those springs off. So next stage, we're going to throw the hood back on, and uh, Jess is going to slide the electrical through as I get this all mounted up. There are two tabs at the front of the hood and both tabs point towards the back of the sled. They're going to fit in some, uh, into some custom holes. So you'll see as you're sliding on, you're just going to make sure that those two tabs slide right in. There's a few electrical components to connect at the top here and I'll plug the cluster back in. The way to reinstall the cluster is to get the bottom in first kind of slide it along till you feel the tabs drop in. Just get that up and out of the way. And you'll just kind of feel two clicks when that goes back into place and it's all sitting flush. There we go. All right, next step, we're gonna mount the hood back on and we're gonna do that with the four longer bolts and the two shorter bolts. So the two shorter bolts are gonna be the most, uh, the lowermost bolts that are gonna be going in and the, uh, the longer ones are gonna be the ones right, right at the side underneath the mirrors or underneath the side deflectors. 
as well as right in front of the uh, the electric housings. Bingo, and that is buttoned down. Next up, we're gonna uh, we're gonna mount the wind deflectors. We're also gonna mount the um, the windshield. So one trick that you can use to get the air deflectors in the side is just to squirt a little bit of silicone glue in the uh, rubber grommets. You don't want to use that for your windshield. Uh, the windshield tends to pop out. It does make them go in nice and smooth though. So it's always nice to landmark your uh, center grommet first and then put the two sides in. What's the last step there, Jesse? Just our wings, man. Well, Jesse, we got it all buttoned up together. Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. It's a nice jacket. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all right, all in all, that wasn't a terribly difficult job. Maybe a uh, three on 10 on the finger scale as difficulty uh, go. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments in the comment box and we'll get back to you on that. And uh, until then, well, we'll see you out on the trails. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, or check us out at www.rawfueltv.com.